This Sicilian proverb is one of my personal favourites because it essentially means that you don't care about what is happening around you. The water may wet me, the water being the negative situations, the difficult people, the challenges in life, but the wind will dry me. This aspect relating to the fact that you have an innate confidence and sense of security to know that everything is going to be okay and that you don't need to let your inner self be impacted in any way. This is a very true proverb and one that can change people's lives if people can adopt it because we all face challenges and difficult situations at certain points in our life and more often than not we allow those moments to impact us in some way whether we allow those moments to affect the way we feel or the actions that we take and this proverb just reminds us that Even though we may face difficulties, it doesn't need to affect who we are at our core. We can remain unaffected and we can understand that there are certain aspects of life that we cannot control and be okay with that. And so this is just a beautiful problem to remember for everyday life and especially if you're dealing with a challenging situation as well. You can still feel okay within yourself even if the world around you is in a very different place. This proverb reminds us that slow and steady wins the race and I think as a society and as a culture, whatever country we are in, we are almost programmed now to want instant results, to want the overnight success and the instant result of what it is that we desire and often we don't understand or fully comprehend that actually the process to what it is we desire can often be long and winding and you need to take your time to achieve what it is that you desire. Sometimes we get caught up in comparison and in looking at other people's lives and other people's success stories and fail to recognise that behind those successes there has often been a long period of hard work and sacrifice that has led to that moment of success that you now see. And so this is just a very, very beautiful reminder to take things slow, to enjoy the journey and not just stay focused on the destination. And in doing so, you will have longevity and you will succeed at what it is that you desire, but not in a short-term way, but in a long-term way because you've built the correct foundation. You've not built a house on sand, you've built it on cement. And so it is going to withstand the challenges that life may bring more so than if you do something in a hurry and rushed and you don't fully think through the consequences. So this is a very beautiful and apt proverb to live by. This proverb relates to change in that whoever decides to change in life is often aware that they do not know what that change is going to bring about. And this is, in effect, the part of change that people find so scary. We often want to have all of the answers before we take any action in our lives. But unfortunately, for the majority of times, That isn't possible and we have to take risks and we have to make changes where we don't have all the answers or we don't know what's going to happen on the back of those changes. We just have to follow our inner desire and our end goal to to do it. And so this is something to remember. Change doesn't mean that you know what you're doing or how things are going to unfold from the beginning. It's about having faith and trust in the process and knowing that ultimately that change is going to do good for you, whether you know in what way or not at the time of making it really. As much as change can be scary for so many people for this very reason, it can also be one of the most transformational experiences you can have. And I can certainly relate this proverb to my experience of moving from London to Italy. I left the old, London for the new Italy and I had no idea what was to come. In fact, I could never have predicted everything that has happened for me so far in the near four and a half years that I've been living here. And in a way, that's kind of the magic. 
because if I had known some of the things that I would encounter here, maybe I may have reconsidered my decision or done things a little differently, but then I wouldn't have learned the lessons that I have on the back of it and I wouldn't have become the person that I am now as a result. So there is a lot of magic in not knowing all the answers at the time and in discovering them as you go along and learning the lessons along the way. And I think this is what this beautiful proverb reminds us of. proverb talks about leaving a city or a country or even your comfort zone in order to succeed in life and I think I can absolutely relate to this proverb it's definitely what I did when I left the UK to move to Italy and I think it's what a lot of people do when they want to make great changes in their life change and opportunity and experience isn't necessarily found where you are it's not always directly in front of you you may very well have to change cities, towns, or even countries to be able to experience the opportunities and progress that you desire. And in doing so, you end up changing, evolving, and growing far more than if you had stayed where you were. And so this is what I believe this proverb reminds us of. You know, we don't need to stay where we feel comfortable and secure in order to do well. We can absolutely take the risk follow the opportunity, do something different and benefit as a result of it. And I think it's a very important proverb to live by. This proverb gives a very powerful illustration of how it is so important who we surround ourselves with because whether we realise it or not, they have a direct influence on us, subconsciously or consciously. And I think as much as this proverb relates to disability, we can refer it to any aspect of life. For example, if the majority of your friends have a fairly negative and pessimistic view of life, chances are there is a part of you that feels the same, or there is a part of you that has changed in some way your once positive opinions of life. Whereas on the other hand, if you have a circle of friends who are successful and are very optimistic about life, chances are that rubs off on you and you feel more inspired to do more in your own life. And so when we really understand just how powerful the company we keep is on our lives and on us as people, I think it can totally change the way that we live our lives and make us more aware of who we are spending our precious time with. There is another famous saying that says we are the best of the five people that we spend the most time with. And I feel that this proverb goes hand in hand with that. And I think it is important sometimes to reflect on who we are spending time with and how that time makes us feel because we all change and evolve and grow. And even though I speak about friendships in Italy being very much from school through to adulthood and very tight knit, it doesn't mean that the dynamics within those friendships stay the same. I have seen friendships here in Italy that have survived the course from childhood all the way through to adulthood. But now I start to see how the dynamics within those friendships are different. Whereas once those friends meet pretty much on a daily basis, it now drops down to a couple of times a month. Because guess what? People grow up, they live lives, they have different responsibilities. And so the dynamics naturally change as a result. I think this is just a powerful reminder to us all to be very conscious of not only who we spend time with, but also conscious of what we consume. Because it, whether it be through social media, reading a book or reading something on the internet, everything we do, everything we consume, everyone we spend time with impacts us in some way as to how we feel. So it's very important to remember that. of patience often results in less than ideal situations. As I mentioned before, often in life we spend a lot of time in a hurry, running through life, chasing after the next dream or goal or focusing on the next responsibility or thing that we have to do and we don't often pay enough attention to the details. We don't take our time to consider 
what it is that we are doing or where it is that we are going. And so when we actually do stop, we realise that sometimes we haven't even arrived at our destination or our destination has had lots of pitfalls and errors along the way. And so really this just gives us permission to slow down a little bit in life. We don't need to always run. We need to take our time. We need to take time with ourselves, but also take time for others and also just take time in general to think about what it is that we're doing, why we're doing it and where we're going. Because we can get caught up in the outcome. We can get caught up in the destination for sure. But if we are not taking our time along the way to get there, chances are when we do arrive, it's going to be nothing like what we imagined or it's going to end up being a very different experience to what you had hoped. So I think sometimes less is more. Less haste, more speed, in a way, is the equivalent, I think, of this proverb in English. And I think it's just a very important thing to remember. We achieve more in life by taking our time than we ever do when we run. final proverb in this video relates to people who perceive to have bad luck or negative situations they tend to repeat those in their life and this is very true because negativity likes company and what you will find is that when a person is in a negative space often they will want to offload that negativity onto those around them and that's when people will complain and moan and and gossip about others because negativity likes company. And sometimes it's even how people bond is over negative experiences. And so this is something to remember. Life is as we perceive it. Every single aspect of life is as we perceive it. And if we consider ourselves to be unlucky or to be in the wrong place at the wrong time or to have some kind of like misfortune in life, then chances are we're going to continuously be looking for evidence of that to keep reinforcing that subconscious belief. It is that powerful. There is a deep psychological meaning behind this proverb, which a lot of us don't even fully understand or appreciate. And so it is about taking a moment to really look at life through a different lens and deciding to view situations in a different way. Because honestly, when you do that, that is when your life does change. It doesn't change when you consistently stay stuck in the negativity, it only changes when you can take a moment and start to even look for the smallest of differences in your life. Because even when somebody is going through a terrible time, there is always the, the minutest form of goodness that they can find, always. You can always choose to look at life through the lens that you place on it. It's always a choice, the way that you look at life. And when people perceive themselves to be unlucky, they just continuously repeat that cycle, which is essentially what this proverb is teaching us.